Here are five mistakes that you should avoid while preparing for your upcoming IAL biology exam. The number one problem students face with these exams is that they find so many new questions that they have never heard before. But there's always a way to overcome this problem. There are certain keywords in the questions that remind you of things you have seen in your notes or in previous past papers. Write all relevant points to these keywords. And if it's one of those long six mark questions, there are always marks dedicated in the mark scheme for just restating the information and describing the given data. The second problem and perhaps the most important issue students face is that time limit. As soon as the students come out of the exam, they always tell me that the exam was way too long. For that reason, you should do several full marks before the time of your exam. At the beginning, you will find that you can barely finish on time. But with training, you will be able to finish 10 or 10 minutes before the dedicated time. This is giving you some time to revise your answers and add extra points. When comparing biology to other exams, you'll find that the curve of the biology is quite lower than other subjects. For that reason, it is okay to lose marks during the exam. In many years, the curve went down to 60 or even 50% of the mark of the exam. So don't worry if you're missing a couple of questions while solving because you can still score a full UMS on that exam. Problem number four students face are the math questions. Many students have told me that the math questions in biology are harder than the actual math exam. For that reason, I always advise students, especially those that don't have ability to solve math problems, to keep those questions till the end because these questions tend to take a lot of time. So it's not worth it spending 10 minutes on a math question while it's only worth a few marks. The last problem the students face in their preparation is that the students become very focused on the hard questions and they forget the most basic and the straightforward facts. You need to secure those easy definitions and processes from your notes. Those will give you easy marks and yet they won't take you a lot of time. Soon I will make a video of all these most frequent questions and definitions for you to prepare before your exam.